What's going on, everybody? It's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are playing some more Battletech. So, all day I have been wanting to play Battletech, and yet all day I have spent all day doing everything but playing Battletech. So, I'm excited to actually hop into the game. We are going to grab a new contract today, and I think instead of doing the priority mission, which is two skulls, uh, I think we're going to do the aggressive negotiation. It's only one skull, so it's going to be a little easier. We've been having trouble with the locals here in Detroit for months now, and our negotiations with them have been stalled by a stubborn local government diplomat. If he were removed from the equation through a random attack by bandits, for instance, we might be able to make some headway. So, um... It's an assassinate mission, which we had before. Your objective is to destroy a specific target. Defeating any other enemy units is not required. A possible strategy is to use a fast-moving sniper mech to strike the target and escape. Okay, it's going to take 22 days to get there. I think the reason we want to do that one instead of our priority mission is because I think I want my new mech um, completed before then. Also, I'd like Behemoth back, so I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and go to our mech bay, and we need to repair our blackjack. So let's get you repairing and then we're going to want to flip our task arounds because we want that to take place first uh since they don't work at the same time you know it's uh uh, uh, uh what subsequent order so we need to knock the blackjack out because it's only two days and then we'll go for the 28 days uh and i think that's all we need to do for now our barracks we leveled everyone up correct i think we did we're at 1300 so we could grab another punch i think we'll save it what would be tactics though what would you get with tactics nothing these are 900 so that'd be a total of 1300 what did tactics give me i wish you would tell me what you gave me negative one indirect fire penalty and then it lowers the minimum range is that worth it or is it worth it just to save i think it might be worth it just to save so 300 you have 2000 so decker can actually level something no i think we're saving for the 2500 Receiving you. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're not going to use you. So, okay, let's go ahead and grab this mission then. Contracts, please. I'm going to go for aggressive negotiations. And we're going to actually go for the salvage. I don't care about the rep right now. The money is a little insignificant, but, you know, I want to at least be able to pay for potential repairs. Um, salvage, I do want the two of three because we have the quick draw and we have a single piece. And that's our first heavy mech that we could potentially get. So if we're facing one of those, I would like to be able to salvage it. So... Let's go ahead and launch the mission right away, and I think there's no reason uh, for us just to hang around. So we'll go ahead and advance time, get our butt over there. Our blackjack is repaired. Behemoth will be back in uh, service before this mission, so I think I will go ahead and roll in with Behemoth. Uh, means we got to switch our mechs around. Also, too, remember, we have a new mech we get to play with this time, too, so yay. Hopefully the mission's not too difficult, but we'll see. We'll see. We do have 135,000 for repairs, so. On your way to the Leopard's Galley, you run into Samer headed the same way. Commander, it's been a long week. I know I can't make more hours in the day, but I can make more coffee. When you enter the cramped galley, you find Medusa and Glitch in a tense standoff uh, uh, in front of a nearly empty coffee pot. Medusa sees you. Commander, this is the last drop of coffee. The Exo says he won't have any more till the next supply run. So we can split the coffee between them, we can give it to Samer, or we can take it ourselves. Let's split it between them. So exasperated, you squeeze your way past them into the galley and take two cups. Pouring the coffee equally into both, you say, if you can't act like adults, we'll resolve this like you were children. You hand one cup to Medusa, one to Glitch. Drink up. The next time I see you plant side, I expect you to make every single shot. After the least, Samara sighs as she stares at the empty pot. That better have been worth it. Now excuse me while I go discuss shopping priorities with Darius. So Medusa and Glitch both gave the following tags. High spirits. Pilot has high morale, be able to use inspiration more often. All right, that seems pretty good. What would Samara give me then? More medical? I mean, I guess so. She's not the mech. Who's actually my medic? I don't think we. I don't think we have a direct medic. So, I mean, in the scheme of things, that seemed far more valuable than whatever Samara would potentially give me. I mean, she's not gonna give me more money. Quicker travel time? <laughs> she's the pilot. So maybe quicker travel time? I don't think that's really necessary either, though. I don't know. So anyways, uh, month costs are up 249,000. That's going to put us under 2 million, which is fine. And I will do more uh, the normal effect for now because that's fine. We have plenty of money. I don't know bumping this above 20. Like, I mean, I guess eventually it's ah, being able to use it more often is good, but I just don't know it's that valuable to spend, you know, a month or half a month's pay just to get one extra point. 
So we arrived at Detroit. Proceed. Yeah, let's go ahead and proceed, please. So we want to get rid of Medusa, even though he does have the bonus right now. Didn't he have a negative two there for a while? Uh, and then let's put everyone back on your normal mechs. And we're going to put Behemoth over here. And then we want our Jenner mech. And we're going to put Decker in it. Because remember, Decker, Decker's a little more armored now. So Vindicator, Blackjack, Shadowhawk. Yeah, let's go deploy. Okay. So I think I want to make sure we're moving slowly, even though it is an assassinate mission. Uh, Commander, this isn't likely to be resolved by one dead diplomat. Situations like this are good for repeat business. If I remember, the first side mission we did was an assassinate one. And if I remember correctly, didn't they just come at me one at a time? <laughs> so it might be a good idea for us maybe just to position ourselves in a... Commander, you're the AO. We're expecting hostile contacts. Recon has provided the general vicinity of the diplomat. So he actually does have another mech there. So his mech is pretty big. And that looks like... Is that a locust? Or is that one of the... What's the small ones? I don't know. Take the target out. Get to the evac zone. Oliviera out. Okay, so let's take a look at our map. Whoop. Yo. So we have a lot of room over here. We have a lot of room back here quite a bit of map over here actually a whole freaking heck of a lot of map over in that direction there is something over here so there are escorts so that's where the escorts are reinforcements are back there and then you're over here so here's the issue if we come up here and engage with him I'm assuming the escorts and the reinforcements are going to come after me so maybe it's better for us to go for one of these guys first. Obviously, these guys are probably going to be a lot lighter. I just don't want to find ourselves getting flanked. So what if we came down here to the reinforcements? This is going to put us in a nice little valley where the only way we can be attacked is through there. Then we could potentially come up here on these hills and have really good vision on the reinforcements if they come at me. So I think we're actually going to do that. It's going to take us a little longer to do this, but I think this is smarter. So I think we're going to sprint everyone over here. And I don't know, I mean, I'm assuming these are probably mechs over here. We'll find out pretty quick, I'm sure. But we'll see. Let's move our butts over here. Let's just be nice and safe. Because, let's see, if there's three on each, so three, six, nine, let's say it just works out that way. This looks like um, a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. Noted. So in other words, all three of them engaging me at the same time. So here's what I'm thinking. If there's three, six, nine, I would rather engage each one of these groups by themselves. So we're going four on three, four on three, four on three. Worst thing that could happen is we fight the battle in the middle and then it's, um, and then we find ourselves, uh, basically nine on four and then we're outnumbered. We're in a bad situation and they're going to be able to hurt me. I think I'm going to jump glitch forward. We shouldn't have any issues when it comes to. You brace. We shouldn't have any issues. And I think I will go ahead and run you up here. Let's put you up in the forest. If you can get vision, I'm okay with it. Because he can always sensor lock and we can long range shoot. We may want to run up on him instead of try long ranging shooting. Uh, okay, so we still hadn't seen anyone. Let's rotate a little bit better. So yeah, there's... Oh, something's moving. <laughs> I saw that. Okay, so they are moving towards me. What are you? <laughs> what are you? I demand to know. I like your four freaking evasion. Is this going to spot? This is probably going to spot. But we actually are behind a hill, so I think I'm okay with that. I will... Yep, yeah, there's our enemy contact. We actually don't know what they are. I'm going to jump you up over here. So then we cross the cannon, which puts us a little closer may have some heat issues but i think it's going to bleed off because we're not shooting yeah that's the thing we're not shooting so so we shouldn't actually have any heat issues now i think about it i'm gonna jump you over here get you a little bit on the flank we could potentially put him on the hill next turn other reason for this uh, so there's four units over here. Oh god, there's a mech. Okay, so if all of these have four, we could be in problem. What, what was that? I have no idea. 
So he did just run forward. That had to be his last turn, I think. So let's reserve, because I think he has one more turn. I think. Unless he's on the two. He might be on the two. Okay. So then in that case, let's put you up here. You're going to be far away. You're going to be uh, for evasion, and you're going to be guarded. And then we're going to sensor lock. I didn't put him too far away to sensor lock, right? Please tell me I didn't do that. Please tell me I didn't do that. Please tell me I didn't. No, he, no, no, we're good. So this is going to get rid of the evasion. I've got a sensor lock. Minor damage I could do, like 25%. Sure, I might hit with one or two of them. Um, but the minor damage that we would actually hit is probably not worth um, the cost. Where I could just lower his evasion and then go to work. What is that? Is this a tank that is shooting? Interesting. Okay, so I think I'm going to change what I want to do. I think we're going to go blow up this tank. Yeah, I think we're going to go blow this tank up. He's shooting lasers at me, which scares me. Got it. This will give me one evasion. Which isn't great. Two evasion is definitely better, but I will take the one evasion. You know, we could always multi-target. That's another point. Let's do that. We can't shoot with you. Uh, what kind of armor are you looking at, sir? You have 20 and 41. So our PPC will straight up murder you. You can't hit. 25 damage will not be enough to kill. So then we're going to put you on B. We'll do something like that. And we might be able to do a little bit of damage to the spider. All right. We didn't need the laser, but I can shoot the laser at the other guy. So that's fine. And hopefully... Ooh, got good shots. I think four of them hit. So that was pretty good damage. He's got more tanks incoming. I think it's better in this game, which is a little unusual. Maybe not unusual, but I think it's better to actually focus down these little ones than taking out the big one. Because the little ones can really pepper you and do some work if you're not careful. All right, so uh, let's actually move Behemoth first, because you're in position. I would love to put you in a spot where we can only be shot by. So we'll have a straight shot here, but he'll be able to range me. But we will have four evasion. So whatever that guy has is going to have missiles on me. Maybe I should have jumped forward and then gone for the Galleon. That might have been a better option now that I think about it. But we could kill that with Arzul. So I think let's just focus him down. Do we want to shoot his chest? 45 damage. We're outside range of the medium lasers? No, no, it just doesn't have ammo. So wait, it has a total HP of 68. 45 plus 25 is uh, 70. So if we just hit with those first two weapons, we kill him. So yeah, we're going to definitely precision strike. If we can hit 33% chance, if we can hit with Firing. most of these shots, we have a chance of just straight killing him. I think we did it. No, we didn't. Crap. We were close. We were freaking close, man. I don't know what his HP is at, but it's low. I can guarantee you that. Can we? We can actually get vision on you. In that case, I think we go hard and we murder this guy. Now, jump jets and then shooting all our weapons is going to be a really um, easy way for us to overheat. <laughs> so let's turn off both of our medium lasers, perhaps. Do we want to call the shot? He only has 27. I don't think we can. No, we can. So we just need to hit the center torso with two of our shots and he's dead. <sighs> we could also long range. Nah, nah. Yeah, let's keep one of these medium lasers on. Let's go. Dang it. We missed. Question is, if Decker has the ability to call his shot, I might bring him in and shoot. Float him down and go for the middle called shot. Because he is very weak right now. Missiles aren't going to do much of anything. 
because we have the evasion. Yeah, they didn't hit me at all. And we called the shot, so remember, he also is going to be a little slower. Orders. We can't call a shot. I want to be in the center because I want to have the best shot to actually hit his chest. It's going to give me four evasion. I think we go. He's a little more armored than he was in the past, so I think we go. I think we go. I think we go hard. We just pray. 27 HP. We need to hit the center with two of them. And we just missed with everything. Dang it. Freaking dang it, man. If we can run Behemoth up there, she can probably punch him in the chest. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. I think Behemoth can just run up here and punch him. And that should be a straight punch to the chest. This should kill him. He's only got 19 HP. We don't need to call it. Let's just go punch. This should be a kill. Oh my gosh. What was that? Like a 90% chance that we just missed? Seriously, what was that? Like a 90%er? That was pretty freaking bad. I can't believe we missed it. I really can't believe we missed it. Uh, I'd rather keep her to destroy the tanks because she's her PPC is godly against the tanks. We can't call a shot again. We're gonna go heavy with everything. I need him dead. All weapons committed. We're gonna blow some arms up, it looks like, but once again, we missed the center. He's got freaking 10 HP there and we can't get the kill. <sighs> I can't believe we fucking missed that shot. At least we can go stomp on tanks really easily this next turn. Are you gonna flank me and then shoot me in the back? I don't think they can do that. Enemy flanking. I lied, they can totally do that. Damage is minor. That's okay. We'll be able to go before both of those tanks and we can just stomp on both of them. What can I do for ya? What can I do for ya? So yeah, we're gonna fly you over here. Ready, set. And we're probably gonna multi-shot. Can I call it? I can call it. He's so dead. I think we use that on A, and then we go B with the other two. And we should be able to hit his arm. We should be able to get a double kill. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. The PPC just is a one hit kill on these guys. And then between the lasers, okay, we just started the centaur, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, that got a little annoying, but we're okay. We didn't take any structure damage yet, right? Also, we should be able to go before his tank. Unless we're done with this turn, so now it's gonna go to two? I don't know. Okay, so he gets to go before me. He's gonna roll away. We didn't take any structure damage here yet. I should still be able to run up and stomp you. Our armor's getting a little low. Commander, I'm wounded. Are you freaking kidding me, game? Are you kidding me? So once again, we just get a random headshot. Our armor's perfectly okay on our head, but yet we get murdered in the head because somehow they get a lucky shot on us. Well, I'm glad we have our fifth pilot in training. And I think we have enough weapons to finish you off. We are actually going to overheat. <laughs> Can we turn you off? Yeah. Uh, we don't see any other enemies, so let's just finish him. Nope. We're gonna. We're not going to get the kill because nope, we suck. <sighs> and we see enemies. All right, that's great. That's great. Good to go. So, you literally lost four damage, and somehow you took an injury. Cool. Cool. We're going to go stomp on you because you're pissing me off. Kill confirmed, Commander. So that destroyed the reinforcements. Good. My only concern now... Stomp the yard achievement. 
What was that? Hold up. Stomp the yard. Destroyed five enemy vehicles with melee. Ah, okay. My only concern is, like, because she has three injuries, I'm like, I don't want to put her in the front line. But, I mean, I guess in the scheme of things, she should still be okay. Her back armor is what's really mostly hit. Her legs a little bit, too. Actually, her legs are getting pretty exposed. We probably want to keep me up front now. Our heat is a problem. Waiting on you, Commander. I think we're going to move Glitch up. Actually, you know what? Let's move Glitch over here. Can we get a double? Dang. We move... Yeah, that'll be fine. Don't need to tell me twice. Glitch is full on armor, too. So we can keep me and Glitch up front. And then we're going to sensor lock. Got a lock. And who is this? This is not the government. This is not the escorts. So, this is just some random mech that's whole, hanging out. It's a spider. So, he's not going to have a lot of HP. I think I'd rather be slightly out of position and have two evasion. And I think we're just going to shoot with the ACs. I don't think we're going to use the medium lasers. I don't know if we can actually hit with them. I didn't pay enough attention. Yeah, we're just going to shoot with the ACs, which is going to lower my uh, thing pretty well. Uh, he does have two evasion charges, which is why it's 65 versus like 85. And I thought we missed with both there. We missed with one. <laughs> that was like really game. Oh, yeah, he had four because he moved. But because we sensor locked him, he went down to two. So we can actually double sensor lock and then hit. All right, so he's going to get to go probably before me. We're going to reserve, even though my back is probably turned. Uh, we have another mech incoming, and I think this is the Diplomat. Nope, this is our escorts. Wow, okay. Well, I'm glad we didn't run into the middle of the map. You're going to shoot at me. You have no freaking weaponry, so... All right, that's fine. Did you gain... You gained four freaking... God, I hate these pilots, man. <laughs> so, I think we're going to jump you over here, because... We can. And we're just going to sensor lock, which should lower your heat significantly. And we're going to get rid of that, please. Goodbye, evasion. I'm worried about this guy right here. Did he already go? I don't remember. We might just be able to straight murder him. We'll move up. This isn't going to... Ah, dang it. Now, nah, we're going to jump over here. Where is this other guy? He's right there. Because I want the three evasion charges. But that spider might be able to punch us. Man, are we really worried about a spider punching me? Probably not. Taking the high road. I think we're going to multi-shot. Oh, we can't see the other one, so I can't. Good, good point, good point. Uh, my PPC can actually hit. We could call a shot here, too. 9%, so not likely. We can definitely blow up his torso. But he has no weapons over there. All his weapons are located where? Actually, where are his weapons located? Usually they show up here when you look. Left arm. Jump jets jump jets lasers so his lasers are all in the middle so let's not call it then and let's turn you off save a little bit of heat got it all right ppc hit that's what i needed really that's all i really wanted was that ppc hitting behemoth we will bring you back on our turn and we'll probably long range and we might go punch with ourselves i don't know if we'll have the range for it Our heat's fine, so yeah, let's hop up here. We're gonna get some nice long-range shooting. Straight on, so the AC-5 is gonna hit. Maybe not. 50% chance, I think we take it. Got it. Ah, we missed. Hit hard. At least because it was straight on, we did hit him in the chest. So we might be able to call now with me. He still doesn't get to go. I don't actually see where his initiative is. We can't get it. Uh, we do have guarded. 
I probably still want to move back though. And then that's going to give me really good shots on him. So he should be dead. Yeah, let's do something like this. And we're going to basically back up so we don't get flanked. And then we're going to hit you with everything we have. Can we call it? I think we can. I think we can actually call the chest. We got 33% chance. We're hitting with enough damage. All weapons committed. Nope. Nope. Nope, we did good work, but we didn't quite get the kill. The other thing about that, though, is we did lower his initiative. So he's going to be one round slower, which means we should be able to hit him and maybe even kill him next turn. Do we want to go for the kill? I'm going to reserve because I think it's this guy. Nope, it's the other guy. It's a Jenner. This is the government, dude? Or is this the escort? This is the escort. Ow. Ow. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Freaking Jenner 4, man. Okay, so he will get to go I here. Hear ya. I can just punch you. It's at 15 HP. I could also priority strike. We only have a 9% chance to hit. What is our melee chance? 85%. We will definitely destroy the arms. I don't know we'll knock him over. I think I have two options. I could come right here, shoot everything I have with a precision strike, or I can walk up and punch him. I think we're going to walk up and punch him. I think we can hit it. Thank God I had that laser. <laughs> I so mad. <laughs> I was so mad there for a second. Because I was like, of course you've punched his left side that's fully armored and does absolutely nothing for me. Instead of, you know, punching him in the right side. But it worked out. It worked out. All right, so I need to probably do our same thing and float you down here. I want to actually put you within range to maybe come up and punch him next turn. We're having heat issues, uh, but once again, we're just sensor locking, so that's going to lower our heat. Sensors locked on. Actually, that's not going to lower our heat by much, but if we're just going to run up and punch them next turn, that'll be fine. Behemoth. They have two tanks. They have two tanks in this Jenner. Commander. You are guarded, so go hard here. Unless we want to move up to get within range. That will actually give me... Why is our accuracy so bad? How is my heat? Good enough we can shoot with all our weapons. So in that case, yeah, I think we want to jump down. Let's grab the evasion bonus. And then we're going to hit hard with what we can and hopefully get rid of that evasion so that we have a better accuracy because we're going to shoot with a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to shoot with everything. 50% is fine because if we hit it, it works. Cool. So we basically missed all but like three missiles. That was like an 80% I think we missed in there. We could run up and punch him. I don't think it's worth it because like I said, he's not hurt. So instead, let's move you back. Get into the forest so we're a little more guarded because we had taken a little bit of damage. And then we're going to hit you with everything. And we'll be fine on power. I wonder if maybe I should have called that shot. Or not. So we did lethal damage, so we just straight murdered him. Nice. Nice. All right. So all we got is a couple tanks now incoming. Cool. Cool. Those tanks are going to be easy. Uh, that was one of the escorts. So he still has 25. I don't know if the three tanks are going to count. 
can we move our Jenner up far enough to actually murder him with the by stomping on the tank? <laughs> I would like to run up and murder him by stomping, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Waiting for orders. Now, now. So then, in that case, glitch, you're up. Go. We could actually move her back. I think we're going to do that. Let's not forget that she has the PPC, which is a tank killer. She did not really turn all that much. Um, still, the PPC is a straight up murder machine, so I'm just going to use that. Tell me what to shoot. I mean, there's a chance we missed the 85% chance, but yeah, no. I'm just going to take it. About shooting the little guys. <laughs> I freaking love... Her PP, I love the PPC. It's just like so good at just killing vehicles. Where are you going? Okay, so I think we're gonna take Decker. You're having enough power issues that I don't really want to. We're still gonna be within range of sensor lock you. So we're just gonna move you over here and then we're in sensor lock. So his power goes down, or his heat sink is really slow. No, no, that's not so bad then. Still, it seems to be definitely a lot slower than some of the other ones. How's my power? My heat. Uh, not great. Not great. So, can we float you up to the point where we can get a straight on shot? No. Are we really going to waste missiles on this guy? Probably not. Let's just go kill him. I don't want to use all our weapons, if possible, because I don't want our heat to get that high. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't want to use all our weapons. We only need two miss two uh, two of these guys to hit. So we just need two out of these three 80% chances to hit. Okay. Well, we missed with the third one. <laughs> so I guess I'm glad I shot all three. So there's still one more escort. And the diplomat. So this worked out really, really well because we're hitting them in waves now versus all at once. I will go ahead and sprint behemoth up here. Heading out. And we actually lost vision on everyone. But basically, I just want to kind of move up a little bit. Roger. Get our heat uh, to go down a little bit. And we did find an enemy contact. The question is, who was it? Was it... Okay, so this is their main mech dude. He will go next round. Our evasion's great with everyone, so I think I'm gonna reserve. And I want him to go first. Move a little closer, and then we're gonna be able to go on him. He's really slow, by the way. Good to go. All right, Decker, you're up. What is this? Marsh, 50% stability damage reduction from all attacks. Uh, all right, so Marsh seems really good then. I think this is too aggressive. I mean, let's not forget, I mean, he can shoot, <laughs> but there's no reason to put him within range of the enemy or vision of the enemy. And here's the other thing. I can just stay out of range. I maybe should just stay because I can just long range him right now because he can't see me. He doesn't have vision on me. Yes, Commander. So if I run in there, I give he gets vision on me. It's a Wolverine. I think I'm just going to long range him. Yeah. I think we're in a good spot. And we're just gonna hit the 60%. Our primary target is taking damage. We did two whole damage. Cool. Waiting for orders. Cool. I think we'll jump you back and you'll be able to use the PPC from here. Yeah. Got it. I, all I want are PPCs at this point in my life. Uh, your heat's fine. This is also going to put you in cover. And this is also going to give you four evasiveness. So, I almost feel like we should straight up call the shot. 33%. 100%. 
100 damage. And he's 190. This dude's like fully armored right now. So turn on both of these. Uh, we don't want to call. Uh, I don't want to call. Because we can only do 70 damage. I think I'd rather just straight up do damage for now. We actually hit his left torso. He actually looks like he has some weaponry over there. Hmm. Interesting. I would rather not... God, you just don't have vision. I would rather not jump jet you. We're only shooting the ACs, so that's not going to use a lot of heat. So in that case, yeah, we might as well jump jet. Get a little bit out of range, so once again, he can't spot me. He's going to have to move forward. Um, we could call... He does have an AC5 over there. But the best damage we could do is 50. So we're not... No. There's no reason to waste the call when we can't kill him. Or at least blow up a, a piece of him. So not a very valuable turn. Uh, is this a mech? Is this a mech? It's a vehicle. And it can actually see me. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks so badly. Because that means he can see me now. Ah. Our, our great plan has failed us. Uh, let's reserve. Let's reserve. Waiting for the shot. He's going to run away. Okay, then. Orders. I think I want to take Behemoth out. I think we just want to go murder this guy. Yeah, I think I just want to go murder this little guy. Just so we don't have to deal with him, and then that gets his spotting away. So he no longer has vision on me. You have 48 HP. I'm going to shoot with everything, because I want you dead. I don't think we need any of this. All right, no, we didn't. Did we get a crit on that? Because we only did 45 damage with that first weapon, and yet it killed him, even though he had 48. Maybe we didn't hit the front. Maybe we hit the top. Which had less HP? I don't know. Uh, we are once again going to... Keep you in such a position... That we can keep spotting you. And keep long-ranging you. I hadn't been watching my heat, but I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Sensor locking is fine for heat. Sensor lock. Sensor lock. And if he's just going to stay at distance, we're just going to keep doing pop shots at him. I'm okay with this. How's our heat? Our heat's not great. So let's just move forward. Let's move here. It's going to be a little more in range. 60 versus 75. Actually, I think this one's better. 70 versus 85. Okay, so we actually want to be a little further away. So we have killed all the secondary objectives. So this works so far going... Um, going slow uh how long we're we at we're actually only at 38 minutes on this episode oh okay i feel like we've been going longer god i love you ppc Here we go. oh that was a center shot i think doing good damage we are doing good damage we can't uh we can we can We're good, because we're only shooting the ACs. So I don't really want him. We might be too close. We might have gotten ourselves too close. Uh, we hit both legs for 12 damage. So we're, we're slowly peppering him. We will reserve again, because I want to see if he's going to move forward. Opening. I think he's going to actually move and come shoot at my... No, he didn't, because he Waiting wasn't close enough. We're within sensor range. Yeah. Up high. This might be a little cheap. <laughs> because we're just staying out of range. But he knows... I mean, Not surely the AI knows how to chase me down. Chase me down. Surely. Ready for orders. If we go up here, for example. What can we hit you with? All right, sure.
He has so much armor right now. Like, he's still 642 armor right now. We've been doing a little damage here and there, but not enough to... I copy. Ah, we missed the good one, too. Hey, your missiles are kind of crap. Really, it just comes down to glitch, hopefully being able to get some hits. Heat's okay. We're going to do it. 85% chance. We almost should be trying to flank him. And you know what? That actually might be what we're doing. Roger that. Firing on I think we missed the 85. I think we missed the PPC. That's what it looked like. I would rather not jump on rocks. There we go. Oh, we can't see you, though, over there. We don't have vision on him anywhere over here. All right, well, we're going to spend a turn, and we're just going to come back. And we're not going to attack. We're just going to guard. What does this one do? Gain guard and entrench removes stability damage, and then we increase our... Yeah, nah, that's fine. I'd rather just guard. I think we're going to try flanking him this turn. Let's reserve. Let's see what he does. <laughs> I love how we saw him, then we lost him. He should be able to get a shot on me, I think, this time. Yeah, there you go. And he straight up exposed my structure with one hit. All right, yeah, no. No, that's totally freaking normal. <sighs> that's not annoying at all. He has three evas evasive charges. But we're going to have quite a few 60 percenters. I think we do this. Because I'm going to try flanking with the PPC. His armor back there is only 30. Oh. It's a 40 and 90. Okay. We did do structure damage. I think that was the uh, right torso, though. I hear ya. Okay. This might be key. We are going to overheat if we shoot. Dang it. I think we need to call it. I think we're going to call strike. Because I think we have a good chance to just blow him up. Ah, no, we don't. That's going to take us over, too. Dang. Can we not call a shot from the back? Oh, I guess it just works the same way. Sure. Also, that's going to lower his initiative. Ah! We hit it. I think we hit his arm, actually. So then... Move you up into the forest. We can hit you with everything we have. And his left side is weak, and that's what we're seeing over here. So we should hopefully be able to do some damage to this left side. Turn everything on. Let's go. Do I want a precision strike? Nah, I think we just go. All we miss, we miss, we miss. <sighs> we lowered his evasion, but I still don't think we're nowhere close to being able to actually hit him. Yeah, we're gonna come down. Dang, this guy is so freaking armored, man. He doesn't seem like he's doing that much damage, but he is freaking armored as heck. So let's see, we can do 45 plus 20 is 65. That's still not gonna be enough to actually damage him. So we're just gonna shoot. Firing on target. And we're still just doing little bits of damage all over. Um. What's up, boss? I think we do this. 
I think we do too. Yeah, his initiative is behind all of us. So let's just run up here and we actually probably can put him on the ground. Between the punch and everyone else's shot, we're gonna be able to put him on the ground. So this works. So from a two turn standpoint, we're um, I think in a really great spot. He's unsteady. So any shot at this point should put him down. We're actually gonna move you forward too. Just so we can come stomp on him next turn? We can shoot with the two. PPC's got an 85%. I think we're going to call it. Precision strike. Yeah, let's do this. Because I think we can call shot it. 37%. 41% on his back torso. How much armor does he have here? Not a lot. Enough to kill him? 70? No but pretty close. Here it comes. We missed. He should be down, though. Fall forward. Fall face down. Fall face down. Dang it. Dang it. He is injured. Waiting for orders. I need to get you up here so you can start doing damage. And we're going to have to call shot, and I guess we're just going to focus on the center torso. Probably 50 percenter. Head's only 2%, so. Fire everything, fire everything. So the one thing that scares me when you talk about calling shot is I immediately think of D&D, &D, and I don't know, maybe at least how I uh, uh, was taught is if you call a shot and then you miss your called shot, you just miss. So it always scares me at the called shot that like, oh, I don't want to call a shot because if I miss, then, you know, I'm screwed. But not really, not really. If you miss, it just has a better chance. I mean, just could still hit something else. So it's actually kind of nice. I think we can kill him right here. We have enough weaponry going in on that center door, so. Boom. All right, so we took a little bit of damage, nothing too terrible, and we got a random injury, so kind of the exact same thing what we've been doing. So well done, you managed to wipe out the op four out. I can do extract right now, and then you get to the planned LZ. So uh, Behemoth, once again, is gonna have to go uh, under surgery, and then I'm gonna go ahead and have to get my mech fixed once again. Uh, our contract payment is increased by 25 and 10%, so we made 167,000 out of that. Free World League, um, I don't think it went up at all. Mercenary Review, we're up to 61. Oh, so we have one star now. Sweet. Sweet. All right, cool. So yeah, just one mech hurt and one injury. And it's probably going to be 6,000 days for you to get healed, right? So uh, Glitch is the one that did most of the kills, it seems like. I mean, Glitch was just rocking that freaking uh, tank killer. That PPC is so good. Um, 800 across the board. Jenner didn't get any kills, but that's okay. He had some key punches. So we can grab two Jenner parts. We have zero. I think I'm going to grab a Wolverine part because the Wolverine actually seems slightly better. Yeah, it's a 55 tonner. I think that's bigger than anything I have. So we'll grab one Wolverine and then one Jenner. Unless, do we have any LRM? We have one LRM 10. Is there anything else we don't have? Or is this just telling me there's one? No, this is just telling me there's one piece. Eh, I wish it told me how many of these I had. AC5. Yeah, I just don't know what we have and what we don't have. I'm pretty sure we have LRM10s because that's what I was trying to put on my new mech, but it was a little expensive. The GM? I mean, I really don't want more Jenner parts. So you know what? Let's actually grab the, the GM, the AC5. It does 45 freaking damage, man. That's a lot of damage. Confirm. So we got a spider part, we got a Jenner part, we got two medium lasers, a small laser, and AC5 ammo. <laughs> Thank you for the AC5 ammo, that was helpful. <laughs> uh, so I wonder if we have any other quests, or if we're gonna have to do the priority mission. I'd rather not do the priority mission, hopefully because we're in Detroit, we can get a couple missions that are around here. I mean, it went okay. It's a little unfortunate that uh, they got that random hit on Behemoth and she's out for 19 more days. <sighs> Freaking heck, man. Uh, the repairs on the blackjack, though, should be really quick. One day. What's the refit really quickly? 
I wanted to take a look at... We grabbed the AC5. We have an AC2 right now. We have three AC2s. They have extreme range. The AC5 also has extreme range. Downside is we only have one ammo. So let's see, 48, 49. So if we got rid of both of these and instead went AC5, AC5, AC5. How much ammo is this, by the way? 15 rounds. So we'd only have a total of 15 rounds. So how much AC2 ammo do we get? 25. Ugh. And then we're down to 25 HP. Yeah, see, this is why you need bigger mechs. Because these lower mechs just can't use the heavier weapons. Do you want to end discard changes? Yeah. Yeah. That's unfortunate, man. We could get rid of the heat sink. We could just get rid of the lasers and the heat sinks and go just like super long sniper. But I don't think... I don't know about that. I think we just want to wait for our bigger mechs. God, I wish I would have gotten that 55 mech, man. I wish we could have got more pieces on it. Uh, Okay, so you know what? One thing we are is we're in a new location right now. So let's check out the hiring hall. Let's check out the store, see what it has. Because we could buy some stuff. So you guys are 62,000, but our rating board's too low. You are 49, which is by far the most expensive we've had. You're a 544. You guarantee education, food, housing, sphere, okay. Dropship functions, okay. I don't know what these do. The only thing I can think these things do is affect the story, affect um, how well they interact with everyone else. But I don't know that for sure. Uh, okay, let's check out the store. Let's see what our store has. Locust Spider, that's it. Man, heat sink, jump jet, still. AC-10, ammo. We've seen AC-10 ammo. I don't think we've seen an AC-10 yet. Okay, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hopefully, we have a couple more contracts. I still don't think we want to do the priority strike. Yeah, we have a few more contracts here. These are both in De uh, Detroit, it looks like. So there's no travel. Um, they're also half a star, so we'll have no issues doing these. They're not really that good in pay. This requires trading. And that one's extremely hard, too. So now we'll probably knock out these two, maybe at least one of these. Um, probably the more expensive one first. It's a battle. Uh, but for now, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.